would walk 500 <laughs> miles and I would, would walk, walk 500, 500 more, more just to be the guy who walks a thousand <laughs> miles. Criticade! The hours fly by as we belt out tunes in whatever non-existent key our voices register in. Soon enough, we're surrounded by lush trees and spectacular vistas of everything amazing that nature has to offer. Like a bear shitting in the woods. It feels so good to be back out here. <laughs> Real good. I mean, look at that store. <laughs> I'm getting hard over here. What? We park our cars at the entrance to a familiar trail. <laughs> the narration <laughs> interrupts. He starts you. narrating. Like, we park our cars to a familiar trail and load up our gear on our Eight, backs. what are you doing? I'm thankful that I've been working <laughs> on my health over the past couple of weeks. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be dreading all the hiking that's about to happen. Craig looks intently at his phone. <laughs> Waiting for the narration to stop. <laughs> Everything all right? Yeah, just had to fire off one last work email. Oh, he has a job. Oh. <laughs> well, no, yeah, he, he owns the athleisure wear thing. Oh, yeah, I yeah. forgot. Craig pockets the phone, and we start off the trail up the hill. It's relatively easy, but I, I know uh, bad, but I know I would have been huffing and puffing at this point if it weren't for all the murder sprints. I look around me and take in all the tall trees and animal chirps. Everything okay back there? Mm. There's, there's no reception out here. Oh, yeah, being out in the middle of nowhere will do that. I recognize the look of anxiety on Craig's face. Oh, man. What? What if there's a problem? Reception is the least <laughs> of our worries. <laughs> Let's see where that goes. We're out here in the middle of nowhere, miles from civilization. Nothing with us but the clothes on our backs and a sack of granola. You ever read those stories about campers who get eaten by bears, or who get lost and have to drink their own urine, or worse, what if we have to eat each other out? Uh, Craig, promise you'll eat me out. I couldn't handle cannibalizing my best friend's ass emotionally or physically. You're far too lean. I wouldn't be able to last through the winter. Hmm. No. Yeah, that's a bad one. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What's with all the ass-eating jokes? Uh, what was that? that was just your Robert voice. It was close, yeah. You trained for this. Yeah, I think so. Look, Craig, we all know that if you really wanted, you could flex your calf muscles and fly out of here like a rocket ship all the way back to Maple Bay. You're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. This is our weekend. Hmm. Keep marching. Uh, do you want to try one more? Yeah, yeah, let's try it to see because he doesn't. That wasn't great. Yeah. yeah, he didn't. He didn't love it. Yeah. There's a problem. It'll be fine. Come on, bud. Who's a relaxed boy? <laughs> oh. I don't know. Craig. Who's my little relaxed boy? Mm -hmm. Ah! I'm a relaxed boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's my dude. <laughs> That's my dude! <laughs> <laughs> we keep marching down the trail, but it seems like Craig is still worried. After a bit, he stops in his tracks. Oh. Maybe maybe we should go back. I, uh, we can find another campground that gets good cell reception. Craig, seriously, what's wrong? Oh. I, I mean, I, 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 I mean I, I'm just really, really nervous. <laughs> I'm, I'm just really nervous, Morty. I, I can't, I can't. I can't get the cell reception. Uh, my dad instinct is kicking in, and my, my mind keeps conjuring part two up all sorts of <laughs> <laughs> worst case scenarios. What if something happens to the girls? I don't have a signal. I have no way of knowing. Let me tell you, that feeling never goes away. No matter how old your kids are, you just gotta remind yourself that they're in good hands. All state. <laughs> Craig doesn't say anything. I give him a reassuring punch on the shoulder. He caves in my skull. <laughs> <laughs> Try to remember why we came out here. The plan was to get away from all the vit and just focus on ourselves for this little trip. No distractions, no cell phone service, just two dads relaxing out in the woods. Well, now I'm just worried you're going to have a stroke. Egg salad? <laughs> <laughs> Craig looks me directly in the eyes. Wait, it looks oh. me directly, directly in the eyes. Did you see did, that? Did it, did it say that? Yeah. Oh, Jacob put that up. Keep that there for, the, for no a No distractions, bit. no cell phone service, just two dads relaxing in the middle of the woods. Oh. We're going to have some fun this weekend. Damn straight. Ooh. Craig and I get back to marching. It's not too long of a hike before we get to the campsite, and we're both glad to see that we're the only people there. Hmm. I can't believe you still have this tent. Found it in my attic and already checked it for holes. It's got a lot. 
It has tons, but I'm still using them. <laughs> it's seen better days, sure, but I think we'll be able to survive. Dump the bag of fabric and poles onto the ground. We unfold the tent in, in the desired spot. I hand Craig the stakes. Mm. Wow, this sign says this, this, is, uh, this has a lot of lead paint in it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't be using something from the 90s. That's okay. Lead paint is known to be good for your lungs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we still know how to do this, right? Of course we do. You just... We do not. <laughs> That's the joke. After 20 minutes of struggling like people in a bad infomercial, we somehow managed to build an upright structure that closely resembles what a tent would look like if you ask somebody to draw a picture of one with their eyes shut. It looks perfect. It does. It looks really good. I wouldn't put this up against a storm, but I think we'll be able to survive for the night. Little do you know, like, inside is like toothpicks and gum and shit. <laughs> Holding it together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we set out a couple of chairs in our, of our cooking equipment, admiring our handiwork. Nice. Bro, look at us go. Look upon the kingdom we have built. Upon this rock, we shall grill our meats and drink our brews, for we hold dominion over this land. Hmm? Verily. And, uh... Look at our camping chairs, <laughs> which we are going to sit on. Aw, that's cute. So what's next on the camp stravaganza docket? Oh. Well, now that we have shelter settled, I think it's time for us to do some exploring. There's a waterfall a little bit up the way that I'm sure we could hike to. Let's go hiking! Craig and I venture into the woods. We amble along, taking our time to chat and admire the wildlife. What do you bet we end up shirtless in the, in the pool beneath the waterfall? And, and make out. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Craig reaches out an arm and stops me. Hey. Dude. Does that look like what I think it looks like? I look over at where he's pointing. Oh my god, it does. That tree looks <laughs> like a butt. Dude, I love that. <laughs> we should fuck it. I can't get over how detailed it is, I mean. I examine the butt tree further. The contour is perfect. It even has back dimples. Why doesn't it show it? Please just show <laughs> it. I thought we were going to have a great time camping, but this makes it even better. <laughs> I get it. Craig holds back a snicker that you just heard. <laughs> that was a snicker. <laughs> I hate this. I hate when I have to do this. I aspire, I aspire <laughs> to be have every hike be as good as this one. I'm snickering now, too. Let us analyze this tree further. <laughs> Craig and I share a huge belly laugh at our awful jokes. Ho, ho, ho. Craig starts to take off his pants and jokingly put his <laughs> dick in the butt tree. It's pretty hot. The best <laughs> thing about this is that there's no daughters here to tell us our jokes are bad. We high five. It breaks my arm. <laughs> <laughs> Craig and I hit the butt tree again. <laughs> Good joke. <laughs> Thanks. It's been a long time since we've been out here, but everything seems more or less familiar. We point out old landmarks that we remember back from our college days. I think we're getting close now. Hmm. Check it out. Check, 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 check it out. <laughs> There's a clearing up ahead. As we get closer, I can hear water running. Oh yeah, here it comes. Cresting over a hill, Craig and I are greeted by a wide clearing surrounded by trees. In front of us is a beautiful waterfall spilling into a large body of water that runs into a river. Mouths agape with the genuine beauty of the place we go to investigate. The old waterfall. Dude, it's gorgeous. Nature is so rad. You're so rad. Hearing further, we get an idea of how deep the pool is. I think we could just jump off it like the old days? Ha! This old dad is happy here on dry land. Hmm. What the fuck was that? Looks like you could just climb right up over there. We didn't even bring swimming trunks. Oh, that's okay, Keith. It's okay. Oh. We can just do it in the buff. Mm. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. Do it. Oh, oh fuck, fuck yeah. Craig immediately begins taking his clothes off. What if they have a fully fuck! modeled... Fuck! <laughs> what if they have a fully modeled rod? Oh, man. I hope so. Craig's butt. Don't look at Craig's butt. Save, save and look at his butt. <laughs> <laughs> look at Craig's butt. I can't help but sneak a peek. That, that is a good butt. Craig turns around suddenly. He catches me looking. Oh, oh shit. I do a lot of glue workouts. Oh, good. Oh, oh. I immediately turn away. Wait, eggplant emojis <laughs> came out of him. <laughs> yeah. oh. You coming or what? Oh, oh yeah, I'm coming. Uh, I, I don't know about this dude. 
already making his way over to the waterfall by the time I finish my sentence. When he realizes I'm not right behind him, he turns around and rolls his eyes. We lived together for years, and I've seen your ass more times than I can count. It's no big deal. It's gotten a lot bigger over the years. I can tell I can't stop looking at it underneath your cape. <laughs> oh, God. We gotta save. We gotta save every second. Yeah. Um, Let's put on a show. Who need Oh, put on a show. There we go. If the clothes are coming off, then it's someone's birthday. <laughs> Craig gives me the wolf whistle. Yeah. I turn to give my booty a good spank. Oh, gross. <laughs> Why is that gross? That one's for you, big boy. Oh, it's just, oh, strip teases are weird. <laughs> no, they're not. I take my shirt off and drop it in a pile with Craig's clothes. I put the rest of my clothes on the ground, feeling exposed. Craig and I climb up to the top of the waterfall, making sure not to slip on any wet rocks. Craig totally slips and brains himself. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead now. The date's over. <laughs> he reaches the peak before I do and offers me a hand getting up. At the top, we look over the cliff and into the tiny lake. It seems so much higher up from this perspective. Sorry if you guys hear the cicadas. That's a, yeah, sorry. Craig has always been a daredevil. He pulled some stunts in college that I'm honestly still shocked. He sur oh, fuck, I didn't touch anything. That you're honestly shocked he's not in a gurney or whatever. Yeah, I guess. Man, this could be dangerous. Craig looks me in the eyes. And if you want to know whether or not it's <gasps> dangerous... Oh, God! Don't think. Just jump. <gasps> On the next step... We jump into the next episode of Criticate. Fuck. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> hey, hey, guys. This this is Funny Joe. Uh, if, if, you, if you want to find the next Funny Joe episode... Uh, you know, you need to subscribe. There's a subscribe button that you need to hit. Hit it.